So it's so good to be back and first tasks for this morning. Uh, that was fast sell by day And a few hours later we are done. There's the new bridal. So our scooter's been taken. You ready to go in the water? Oh man, I'm so ready. We bought an old abandoned catamaran, spent two years rebuilding her and embarked on a 7,000 mile journey across the Atlantic Ocean to our dream cruising grounds, the beautiful Caribbean. Subscribe below and follow the adventure as we explore our way up the Caribbean chain of islands to the beautiful Bahamas. Still back on the hard in Grenada, we were on a mission to get Lady Africa back in the water. So it's so good to be back and first task for this morning is to get this anno changed and this is what it looks like. You can see that that's like completely toast, check the size of that all. And there's the brand new ones they got from Vitas in South Africa while we're there. Really good. So that will be sorted. That looks really good now. That should give us another two years before we touch that again, which is how long these ones lasted. But yeah, you can see, especially on this side, that was toast. Check how much is missing out of there. Got another one for the other side. Put that one, and we're good to go. Yeah, and I've got a lot of it. I'm gonna rebuild another bridle because the one we have is great for anchoring, nice and long, and keeps the boat always tracking into the wind. But when we grab mooring balls, she's way too long, she keeps on getting wrapped up. So we're gonna snub her short, and then uh, instead of hard gear attached to the boat, we're gonna put it on with attach it with Dyneema so that there's no cluck, cluck, cluck like every time it comes loose or it makes that noise because you hear it through the hole but yeah so let's get started with this super stoked we've got to finish this boat in three days put it back in the water Come let's go sailing And a few hours later, we are done. This is the new bridle, so that's going to be the front. That's going to be two sides, and then I'm going to, with an infinity loop, attach them to the side shackle, so it's going to be soft. And then just this one's going to be a hard shackle onto the mooring ball or chain. We're back on our scooter, baby! We're gonna go buy some boat stuff to finish up the boat so we can put it in the water on Tuesday. One hour later. We broke down on the side of the road. And it was an hour driving this time. It was an hour driving this time. So the guy that we rented the scooter from is coming to see what's up. I mean, we just started our journey of getting boat stuff and now it's over. A few moments later. So our scooter's been taken and we are Not stranded stranded here waiting <laughs> but we organized the taxi to pick us up and while oh, yes, we decided we're going to um, just provision while we have the taxi and get it all done. Another beautiful morning in Grenada. We're on our way to Ace Hardware just to go get up, get some pipes for our sink. The 
pipes are completely rusted out on the salt water side. So we're going to go see if we can get new pipes to install and get our sink working again. See our few little maintenance stuff that we got to do. And here's a little gold. Uh, almost. I'm hey little gold. On the road at the hey little goldie. Oh, he doesn't like me. A taxi driver's here, so we've got to quickly run and get there. The road's closed, so we have to walk up to meet him. And um, I thought he was still sleeping. I thought so Not too. sleeping. So yeah, we're just going to get some boat stuff and then get back to work. Hopefully oh, put this... I left all the piping, the samples, the taps. So we just came back from our shopping trip. Ah. This is how we do it. We pack and then we have to stop at the top there because they're doing roadworks and walk down. And we've been doing that now for the last two days. Provisioning to get ready. So that's a carry crew and then St. Vincent and the Grenadines. But we gotta get the boat ready. As you can see, Ricky's been busy doing a thing here. Sink repairs. Oh, what is that? What are you up to? Fixing the sink. Fixing the sinks. This is what the salt water did to our salt water tap. Salt water tap. But this one stayed really nice. No, that's not what it did to our salt water tap. Our salt water tap did this to this line. Yeah, but this line is all nice because this was a good cheap quality, quality. and quality. that was cheap quality. And as you can see, um, buying cheap is also buying expensive. Yep. But that came with the tap. So now Ricky is going to fix Jim, it. Jim, go put it in. Oh, I've got so much appetite today. Oh. So the guys in store um, said we can borrow some of their anti-fouling. So we just want to take the outboard out and put some anti-fouling on it. Because obviously it gets a lot of wear and tear being in the ocean without any outfouling on it. So we have to always scrape it off often. So we decided let's just do anti-fouling on it and get it over and over. So that's what we're going to do now. Just when I need you You said sail and navigate This is how you lowest people in stage props Like when you're in theatre and Peter Pan's flying <laughs> You gotta help Peter Pan's out babe I'm not used to filming anymore to be honest, <laughs> it feels weird again, but I'm happy to be back and filming again. But at the moment, Ricky's busy doing the uh, anti-fouling, I'm busy checking all our provisions, we bought a lot of provisions again, as you can see, oh, <laughs> I've got a bunch of stuff, I'm going through all the previous stuff we had of our cans, obviously I got a lot of, rid of a lot of food before we left, and a lot of open things. Um, that we gave away. Alan and Patricia came in to check up on our boat often while we were away and then we just told them take everything you can out of our freezer, it's yours. We had some steaks, some lamb, some pork, chicken, frozen mangoes that I, you guys saw me cutting up all the time. So we just gave that to them because we didn't know how long we were going to go away and also I mean, it's been a year so I'd rather they eat it and then we come back and it's rotten and it's just wasted. So yeah, they took all our stuff, so they were pretty happy and, and um, pleased to have some SA steak again. <laughs> but yeah, so now we're just going to re reprovision. Obviously, we're not going to reprovision with steaks and stuff because it's very scarce here, but chicken and fish and sausages and bacon and stuff we'll get plenty of. And then dry goods again. But yeah, as you can see, I got a lot, a lot of stuff to do. But luckily with cans, we're pretty good still. Just got a few extra top ups and we're good to go. So we're sanding our outboard now. 
up until here. We're going to do the lower unit with some anti fouling and hopefully that will prevent us from having to clean it as often and deter the barnacle growth. There's a bit of corrosion here also and um, put some epoxy coat on first. project that we really wanted to do, actually a while ago we needed one, is put a cleat like somewhere over there. I was thinking back here, maybe that would look better. But I need a cleat somewhere so that when you run a second anchor or catch a mooring ball or something like that or back up to hook on the chain or something, we can hook it up onto here. So that would be really, really handy for us. We felt like we needed one there. So I got this it's aluminium one. It doesn't feel too bad, but it was well priced. That was um, like $50 US. But I think that's gonna work. Either there or there. Let me know what you think. By the time you tell me, I'll probably install it already. Uh, there's a bulkhead right here, so we need to be careful. But like right next to that bulk it's going to be super strong. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and click on the notification bell to alert you when we upload a new episode and like this video as well as share it with your friends and family. It's a free way you can support our channel. And that's how that looks. Pretty neat, sealed up, really secure, put it nice and tight. That needs to be chopped and replaced and re-spliced in. We will do that when we're in the water. Hello. Is this your cat? Is this, <laughs> Is this your, your cat? cat? Is it yours? Is it your cat? <laughs> Is that our cat? <laughs> it is a nice cat, but we can't have animals. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, the Very nice. You think it's nice to eat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Have a good evening. Pull the Lulu moves there. It's good to eat. Hey girl, are well, you just gonna hang out yet? But you can't. As much as I think you're very freaking cute, and I mean, obviously, I'd love you. I can't have you. A few days of non stop work, and she was ready to head back into the water. Are you ready? I'm keen. Tired. How many days has like been non-stop now? We literally landed, landed. and went non-stop. So I'm keen to uh, have a nice chill evening tonight. The cold one, relax. It's gonna be good. And so then... Hopefully we're just gonna pull into this bay over here. Wait for the wind to die down because the wind just doesn't stop. It's like 15, 20 knots every single day. That bay is like really sheltered. It's a bit of a, it's not a great spot in the sense of wind wise and that's exactly why we're gonna go there. Pull some shelter, get that Jenny up and then head off tomorrow morning. What did you rate the yard? What did I rate the yard? I think they were very good. Pretty, these guys are good. Like, I think they like they were the second most expensive. The cheapest one, everyone said, like, don't Everyone's go there. Are very bad. And like, the friends of ours that we've been on there and taking their boats off said, no, that was bad. So I think we did a good choice. Not the cheapest, but not the most expensive. But it, like, they know they. I think they're fair for where you pay in yes, Caribbean. Yeah. But um, yeah, they were good. Really good. Really good, really happy. What is the time? Hey? Mm -hmm. What's the time? Like 10.30, we're only supposed to go in at 1. 
sweet. We've still got a lot of the day left. We can get that sink Perfect. done. What do you think, Jose? It's good, good there? Yeah. Honey, are you going to go pay your exorbitant bill? Pay the bills! <laughs> I didn't think we had enough cash to pay. <laughs> you have to use your card. Yeah, I remember. Oh. Oh, I paid the insurance this morning. Oh, shite. Yeah. Well, then they'll just have to wait till I can get my card if it doesn't work. Once in the water, we finished gluing in our sink, minus the salt water tap, jumped in our dinghy, and went exploring. Stay tuned till next week, we we're on the move and drop anchor in some pretty cool new places. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. See you guys next week.